Hello audio friend, if you've been following the TechQ Audio Entertainment channel for a while, you know that I have three different subwoofer building projects in mind. These projects will feature the following subwoofers, a 5.25 inch bus driver from the Logitech G51 system, a 10 inch subwoofer from a G-Bell soundbar and a 50 inch huge TX subwoofer from Jamo. But there's one problem, to calculate the optimal subwoofer box specification, I need the speaker TS spec sheet, but such specs aren't available for these drivers. So I bought the Dayton Audio Dots V3, a simple USB powered measurement system to get this speaker specification and understand their true potential. In this video I will find the specification of these speakers. To build a good subwoofer box, it's essential to know the speaker FS parameter, which is the point at which the speaker frequency response starts to drop off at the low end. In other words, this parameter determines how loud the speaker can play. Once you install the software for the DATS V3, be sure to calibrate it first. To check this device accuracy, I will first measure a Visaton BG70 driver, as its manufacturer provides TS specs are already known. After the measurements, I can see that the parameters I am interested in match quite well. The next step is to start measuring the subwoofer drivers. The small Logitech speaker doesn't bring any surprises. It cannot have a very low FS. The GBL 10 inch is also quite predictable. But this 15 inch woofer is truly a THX speaker. I haven't seen such a low FS in a long time. I really like this software, though there is one issue with the added mass measurement. For large speakers it takes extra effort to get an accurate reading. Maybe you have better ideas on how to perform this measurement more accurate. Now that I have the TS specs parameters, the next step is to build the subwoofer boxes. If any of you have more experience, I had appreciate your recommendation on what type of enclosure to build for each of these speakers to get the best musical performance. The boots are happening and it's going to be interesting. Has anyone here used the DATS V3? If so, could you share your experience and any tips and tricks? See you in the comments and good luck!